Good morning, good afternoon, and for some, good evening. My name is Stephen Jordan, a.k.a. The Crypto Knight. Hallelujah. Huh. Hallelujah. I got some good news for you all today. I got some encouraging news for you all today. Uh, I just wanted to record another video today, a video of encouragement, but also a video of some exciting updates, some exciting confirmation. We're going to get into it, but let me take care of uh, some housekeeping first. First of all, hallelujah. I would like to thank every person that supports this channel. Every person that prays for this channel, every person that prays for the on the, the content on this channel, every person that prays for me, every person that prays for this ministry, hallelujah. I would like to give my Lord and Savior praise because I have 3,000 subscribers. Unbelievable. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, uh, it wouldn't be possible. If you guys, you men and women of God, those that are watching this channel, learning from this channel, receiving from this channel, supporting this channel, it, it wouldn't be possible without Jesus, without my Lord and Savior, without the Holy Ghost, without the Father himself and you all, this would not even be possible. But I would like to thank y'all on that. Uh, now, today, we're going to talk about some exciting news and some updates about the Ethereum flash crash. I'm also going to talk about uh, the Ledger Nano S Plus, which is new. It's a cold wallet and the Ledger Nano X. Uh, and I would like to uh, give a shout out to my brothers in Christ, Brother Christian Diggs with How to Be Healed TV. Please watch his video on the Ethereum flash crash and all his videos dealing with the wealth transfer. And also another powerful man of God, uh, my, uh, my my brother in Christ, brother Pastor Keith, with it on entertainment. Please go to his YouTube channel, it on entertainment. Please watch his videos on the Bitcoin uh, flash crash and the Ethereum flash crash as well. But watch all his videos. Period. Dealing with the word, dealing with the wealth transfer, dealing with Luna Classic. Please check out these videos. All right now, and I will have these videos in my uh, uh, pertaining to the Bitcoin flash crash, Ethereum flash crash in my description box. OK, now, um, real quick, and I'm going to talk about it at the end as well. Listen to all my old and new subscribers, period. Newbies with cryptocurrency. I am having a live webinar, cryptocurrency for beginners. Uh, if you check my community tab, all the information is there. If you check my previous video and also today's video, I will have the information on how to sign up. Listen, I know a lot of you guys have been just thrown into this crypto world and it feels like you're sinking. Listen to me, but, but hallelujah. Thank you for the Holy Ghost for guiding you and getting your investments in order, but you still need to understand what you're doing. That is the purpose of my webinar. Okay. And it will be on September 25th. Uh, uh, 2022 at 7 p.m. All right, but let's get into what the Lord has has placed on my heart uh, first and 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 foremost. Um, the Lord's been dealing with me about this transfer, and things have been transferred. But he he's been dealing with me, and he wanted me to tell the saints and and tell the people. Listen, uh, this is a word of encouragement. Listen, the transfer is done. We need to be saying amen, which means thank you. Hallelujah, the highest praise. Thank you, Jesus. It's done. This thing is done. If, if, if not only you watch my videos, <clears throat> you've watched uh, numerous videos dealing with the wealth transfer. There has been numerous prophetic instructions out there to get ready to be prepared. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is a word of encouragement today. Don't let the enemy play with you. Don't let the enemy play with your mind thinking because 
you haven't seen it in the natural. It's not already done. The devil is a liar. That's what he is. He's full of deceit and manipulation. Let's turn to Isaiah 55 and 11. Y'all better hear me clearly uh, uh, today. Y'all better hear me clearly. And Isaiah 55 and 11, the Amplified, and it says, so will my word be which goes out of my mouth. Whose mouth? The Lord's mouth. Not your mouth. Not, not the YouTuber's mouth. Not Crypto Knight's mouth. Not, 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 not these prophetic voices' mouth. No, 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 no. The Lord's mouth. Remember, a prophet and a prophetess, prophetess is just the Lord's mouth. Peace. Uh, I believe it says in 2 Timothy 3 and 16, everything that's, that, that's been written in the Bible is God inspired. Another verse says God breathed, which means it came out of his mouth. He breathed, he breathed life into us. So his word brings life, breathes life. His word does not what? So will my word be which goes out of my mouth? It will not return to me void. Y'all better catch what I'm saying. The prophetic voices, the Lord has spoken. This transfer is done and it will not come back void. Now we are in a Schmitter cycle, a Schmitter year, a Jubilee year. It's the year of release on the uh, uh, on the Jewish calendar. Catch what I'm saying? If you could go to Deuteronomy 15, if you go uh, uh, and study about the Schmitter cycle and, and, and the Schmitter year and the year of release, listen, so for the first six years, they would work. But on the seventh year, they would rest they wouldn't cultivate the land. Uh, uh, all debts were cleared. And whether it was beast or neighbor or anybody, they can come get uh, 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 food off of their land. And do you know that on the year of rest, that that normally they, they made three times more resting than they did the previous six years working? I better catch what I'm, because it's called obedience. Hear me. It's called his word does not come back void. It does not come back useless. It does not come back without result. But you got to believe and hold on to it. Listen, don't let the prophetic voices confuse you because the Lord is not an author of confusion. But the first confirmation that you're supposed to get is from him, not from Crypto Knight, not from the other brothers and sisters in Christ, not from the other brothers and sisters in Christ that, that are having dreams. No, you're supposed to get it from the Lord. And when you get it, no matter what I say, what your neighbors say, what the strangers say, what the dogs say, you know what the Lord said. Without accomplishing what I desire and without succeeding in the matter of which I sent it. The Lord has sent his word out. And if you think for one second it will not accomplish what he desires. See, ain't about what you desire. Ain't about what kryptonite desire. Not about what they desire. It's about what the Lord desires. But he desires the what? Prosper us. As our soul prosper. Come on now. He desires to give us this transfer. But it's not for your selfishness. It's to build his kingdom. Hear what I'm saying? This is a word of encouragement. His word will not come back empty. Turn to Luke 1 and 37. What does it say? For with God, nothing. I'm reading Amplified. Nothing is or ever. Who is or ever shall be impossible. Whew, hallelujah. You see this? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For with God, nothing is or ever, never, ever, ever shall be impossible. I don't care about a market cap. I don't care about what you're seeing on the news. Nothing is or ever shall be impossible for him. Don't get caught up. Don't get caught up in your flesh. Don't get caught up with these naysayers. Don't get caught up with these people that are doubting what's going on. It is done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Turn to Colossians 3 and 2. Uh-oh. I'm reading Amplify. And it says, set your mind and keep focused habitually. Uh-oh. Root word, habit. <laughs> you need to form a habit to keep your mind habitually on the things above. What, what are the things above? The heavenly things. So what are the heavenly things? Peace. That surpasses all understanding. Wisdom. Uh-oh. Meekness. Uh-oh. Joy. Uh-oh. Praise. Uh-oh. Worship. Uh-oh. Hallelujah. Uh-oh. Gratitude. Uh-oh. Thank you, Jesus. So you need to keep your mind on things above. Uh, you're healed in Jesus' name. According to the stripes, you're healed. I'm healed. 
that anger, that bitterness, that idolatry, the devil is alive. Send that back from which it came called the pits of hell. Keep your mind focused on the things above. Hear what I'm saying? I know we all looking at charge and waiting on stuff to happen. Get your head and your mind off of the crash because the crash is done. Get your head and mind off of when Sheba going to increase. It's already increased. It's done. You just need to be in position to receive it. Get your mind off of that and get your mind on the word. Get your mind on Christ. Get, take your mind off of idols. See, see that smartphone can be an idol. Hear what I'm saying? The technical analysis can be an idol. Checking stuff can be an idol. This is for all of us. I'm not saying you can't check it, but 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 don't 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 turn to that, and then it brings your head down because now you're focusing on the earthly thing. It says right here, not on things that are on the earth. Uh oh, my Bible, according to Colossians three and two, in the Word, the Amplified says, focus habitually on the heavenly thing. And not on the things that are on the earth, which have only temporal value. This is what I'm saying. I don't care if you become a trillionaire tomorrow. If your heart ain't right, it don't matter. I don't care if you become a trillion, quadrillion, quadrillionaire in, in the next two minutes. Heart ain't right. It's full of chaos. It's full of hatred. Full of unforgiveness. You're still going to hell. Ain't no peace. Keep your money. If it's me being wealthy, going to hell, or me being impoverished, and displaced and living under the bridge, going to heaven. I'm poverty, displaced, and I'm living under the bridge. The devil is a lie. It's either be in a castle full of chaos or be on the streets with peace. I'd rather be on the streets with peace, going to heaven. Make your mind up. But I'm not saying the Lord is saying he wants us on the streets. But the thing is, if I had to choose, I'm going to be with the peace that surpasses all of understanding. Keep your minds focused. I, I need y'all to keep your mind focused on the heavenly thing. See, you need to be getting downloads from heaven on what you're going to do with the, the transfer because the transfer is already done. You need to have things in place. You need to have wealth management in place. You need to have things in place ready to be uh, to build and exceed the kingdom suddenly. See, when this transfer manifests itself, many of you all need to fall back going to a fast so you can get the strategic instructions just like we've been receiving to receive the transfer. Now we need to execute annihilate and eradicate hell with the transfer. But you got to fall back. Read your Bible. Jesus did. He went, went to that quiet place and prayed. Went to the wilderness for 40 days and came back with power. Hear me. This is encouragement. Let's turn to Nehemiah chapter 8 verses 9 through 10. I'm going to start at verse 9. Then Nehemiah who was the governor in Ezra <laughs> Sorry, y'all. The priest and scribe and the Levites, uh -oh, the Levitical tribe, who God assigned to teach the word, who taught the people, said to all the people, this day is holy to the Lord your God. Do not mourn or weep. Y'all need to stop mourning and weeping. I know y'all got bills. I know some of y'all are behind. Hey, hey, welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. But the word says stop mourning and weeping. Stop making your problems an idol. Stop making your problems an issue and get the amen and hallelujah and thank you, Jesus. Start praising. Start bringing the Lord uh, 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 into your situation with your praise so we can dwell and eradicate and remove everything that is not like him. For all the people were weeping when they heard the words of the law. Uh-oh, verse 10. Then Ezra said to them, go your way. Eat the rich festival food. Uh oh, transfer. Drink the sweet drink. Uh oh, transfer. And send portions to him for whom nothing is prepared. Transfer. See, the wealth transfer is done. But the wealth transfer is not just for you. Right here. It, it, it's saying take care of you, but also prepare those portions for whom nothing is prepared. See, there are still many saints, many people that are not prepared for this transfer, like you and I. The word says, still prepare a portion for them. Get out of you in this transfer. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For this day is holy to our Lord. And do not be worried. For the joy of the Lord is your strength and your stronghold. Uh-oh, joy. Uh-oh, praise. Uh-oh, gratitude. What is your strength today? 
It's not the not the charts, not what Luna is doing, not what Sheba is doing, not what Ethereum is doing, not what big that is not your joy. That is not your strength. The Lord is your strength because all that is already done and it's going to happen. You need to be amen and hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Read your Bible with, with King Jehoshaphat. When they went to praise him, the enemy turned to themselves. And by the time they got there, all they did was pick up the spoils. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, praise needs to be your weapon today. This is encouragement. You need to be hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When you see this video and pertaining to the wealth transfer. Ooh. Let's turn the song, chapter nine. And I'm gonna read verses one and two this day. Ooh, this is my boy here, the praiser, a man after God's own heart. Verse one, he says, I, uh-oh, y'all, come on now. This is when you use I, when you're dealing with the Lord. I will give thanks and praise, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for a sound mind. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, uh, for positioning me for these prophetic investments, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for cleaning my heart so I can build your kingdom according to your instruction. Uh, thank you, Jesus, Lord Jesus, for, for telling me where to drop my net, when to drop my net, even though I exhausted myself, but I get my strength and my joy because you're from you and you're my stronghold. You protect me. I, you put me in the palm of your hand and no man can pluck me out. Ooh, no thought, no devil, nothing. I will give thanks and praise the Lord with all my heart. Come on now. This, this is encouragement. You need to give praise and thanks, not with 50% of your heart, 75% of your heart, 90% with 100% of your heart, all of your heart. Then it says, I will tell aloud all your wonders. Listen, y'all, we are in a season of, of miracle signs and wonders. And I'm already telling people it's done. I'm saying it out loud, transferred, transferred, transferred. It's done. I'm thanking and rejoicing with my other saints. Remember that parable in the Bible when the woman lost the coin, then the neighbor came in, she found it. They went to rejoice and I'm rejoicing for those that are receiving the transfer. Have, that their, their transfer has, has, has started. They've been filled with the Holy Ghost, transferred. Their heart has been cleaned, transferred. They've been healed, transferred. They received revelation, transferred. I am rejoicing. Hallelujah. Those that heard about this prophetic investment, transferred. Those that are just now realizing they can speak in their heavenly language, transferred. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Verse two, I will rejoice and exalt. Uh-oh. Exalt means to feel or show triumphant elation or jubilation. Have you been showing triumphant and jubilation during this transferred wealth transfer? Or you sitting around there talking about, oh, it ain't gonna happen. Uh, you letting doubt whip on you. The devil is a liar. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I will sing praise to your name, O most high. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all better get that in your spirit. Don't let doubt. Don't let fear. Don't let anger. Don't let bitterness. Don't let anxiety come in and rob you of your praise. Because when you let it rob you of your praise, now the Lord ain't dwelling to ambush and remove anything and everything that is not like him. Lord, cover your people. Cover their mindsets. Come in like a hammer and break the stony heart and turn it into flesh so they can receive your word. Because, Lord, according to your word, you give us praise to see what we're going to do with it. Are we going to uh, 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 use it for you? Are we going to use it for ourselves? The devil is a liar. We ain't using the praise for ourselves. We're using it for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See how about your seat, hallelujah. hallelujah. Spirit man is on fire. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Now let's get into, whoo, hallelujah. Let's get into the update. The Ethereum flash crash update. Hallelujah. The Ethereum flash crash, the Ethereum phishing, the Bitcoin phishing, the flash crash, the Shiba new flash crash, all of the flash update. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. It's done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you will scatter our enemies. Hallelujah. Now let's get into it. Amen. Hallelujah. And thank you, Jesus. So what's the update, Crypto Knight? Well, first of all, we need to define saints. A, a, a lot of y'all been hearing this. And you, and you should be hearing it. It's called confirmation. What is confirmation? The action of confirming something or the state of being confirmed. What are synonyms? Verification, endorsement, support, validation, testimony. See, a testimony is a confirmation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, see, I'm about, to, I'm about to go somewhere with this. See, many of us have been hearing confirmations. We got one, but it's been confirmed by this brother in Christ, this sister in Christ, and we don't even know because it's called echoes from heaven. Confirmation. It's called testimonies. It's called validation. It's called endorsement. Verification. It's called support. Matthew 8 and 16, the Amplified, says, but if he does not listen. Now, I need y'all to understand about the context of this verse. See, this is talking about dealing with a brother and his sin, but it's also talking about confirmation prophetically as well. Verse 16 says, but if he does not listen, take along with you one or two others so that every word may be confirmed. Uh-oh, validated, verified by the testimony of two or three witnesses. Listen, now that is when you're coming to your brother and, and you're trying to deal with them with their sin and you want to make sure uh, you got two or three witnesses confirming what you're telling him and bear witnessing in their spirit about correcting their sin because it says when you correct the brother, then you win a brother. But in this case, when we are hearing confirmations of dreams, visions that people are having, we're hearing it from two or three or more with it, it's being confirmed. Y'all better catch where I'm going with this. This is part of the update. It is being confirmed. It's not coming from one source. See, it's one thing if we only get prophetic words from one prophet. That don't make no sense. There's no confirmation because the Lord will deal with you first, but he'll give you confirmation from two or three witnesses. Read your Bibles right there. So he'll let you know and then there'll be somebody you don't know on the other side of the world confirming. I'm talking about the, the same, uh, uh, not necessarily the same dream, but the same topic with the same verse. Hear me. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now let's go to 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 19 through 21. Uh, verse 19 says, so we have the prophetic word. Oh, you better catch this. Transfer. Made more certain. You do well to pay close attention to it. Hear me. See, this is following the instruction of the prophetic word after it's been confirmed. To it as to a lamp shining in a dark place. Remember, light don't negotiate with the dark. When the light comes on, dark got to go. Until the day dawns and light breaks through the gloom and the morning star arises in your hearts. Verse 20. But understand this. First of all, that no prophecy of scripture is a matter of or come, comes from one's own personal or special interpretation. Uh-oh. See, now you around there making stuff up, you already know what you are. But when that prophetic word comes from that prophet and it's a prophecy of scripture, it, 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 it's a matter of or comes from one's own. It, it, I'm sorry. It, it does. It, no prophecy of scripture is a matter of or come from one's own personal or special interpreta interpretation. No prophecy of scripture. Hear me? Prophecy of scripture. Uh, see, scripture uh, backs many of us up on the wealth transfer. Read your Bible. So there's no prophecy of scripture that 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 uh, uh, a scripture is a matter of or come from one's own personal or special interpretation. Scripture is scripture. Truth is truth. Word is word. Hear what I'm saying? It don't come. I, I told you 2 Timothy 3 and 16, and, and I hope I'm right on that verse, but y'all can look it up. It, it, it said every word in that Bible came from, is God breathed or God inspired? Verse 21, for no prophecy was ever made by an act of human will. But men moved by the Holy Spirit spoke from God. That's why you try the Spirit by the Spirit. First John one, uh, uh, I mean First John, uh, chapter four, verses one through five. Mm. Yeah, you, you test the Spirit. 
confirm the word. Because when, when that prophetic word is being released, it ain't coming from man. It's coming from the Lord. It's coming from the Holy Ghost. But you got to do your job to, to test it, to get confirmation for yourself. And if you know you already heard it and you're getting confirming word, amen, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Let me make that very clear. Uh-oh, here we go. Here we go with the update. Now, listen, on the video that I did, um, today is the 16th. Um, the video I did, I believe, on uh, the 14th, I believe. Talking about the, you know, the uh, Ethereum um, uh, 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 phishing and Ethereum flash crash prophecy. Listen, there. this is the update. There's been confirmation. There has been echoes all across heaven and the kingdom and the saints. There are echoes and confirming words from what Brother Prophet Milton Gall said from the dreams and visions that he had on uh, uh, June the 16th of this year, August 21st of this year, uh, September 6th of this year, and September 9th, and God's hammer, which uh, he had a dream on uh, September the 12th, uh, uh, which was a few days ago. Hear what I'm saying? There has been confirmation. That's why I went over those verses about confirmation. See, I need y'all to understand something. When, when you got your prophets and prophecies and you got your, your people releasing the dreams and the visions, listen, people think that, 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 that we're crazy when we do it. You know, I mean, it's hard being a prophet. It's hard telling people about your dream. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look at Joseph. When he told his dream, look what happened to him. They threw him into slavery. Hear me. But it brings encouragement and joy to your fellow brothers and sisters when they hear confirming words from across the kingdom. Whew. And so we got a confirming word from our brother in Christ, brother Pastor Keith. He released a video called the Ethereum Flash Crash confirmed by a dead man. You decide. Who y'all need to watch? It? Powerful. But guess what? We're going to watch. We're going to watch what he said, which confirms what brother Milton Gall and God's him. And many others said. Hear what I'm saying. All right. So let's get to the video. Mm -hmm. So with that said, here goes the dream. I had two dreams but this dream was was the the one that i had to set this up in the dream uh my dad who's been deceased now for two years my father who gave his life to the lord before he left this earth my father uh came and it, he came to us and he came to me and his my my two his, my two of my children and his grandchildren his his little sweetie youngins and he came like he like a grandpa he came and he was happy to see us and we were talking and we were at a movie theater for some reason and we're at the movie theater and then he says hold up you know he's like come here here and he pulls out a bunch of gifts to give us and so he gives us the gifts and this is normally like what he would do in life he would always want to give gifts especially to his grandchildren and so when i got the gifts i looked at what he gave us he gave me cash but it was cash mixed a mix of different foreign currencies in the cash and then he gave me checks there was checks written out to us and the grandchildren and then on top of this cash with mix of foreign currencies checks written out to us there was a piece of paper and on the piece of paper was the symbol for ethereum and he gave that to us as a dream and then he said okay son i have to go and he left dream ended let me give you the background of what i prayed before i went to sleep last night before that dream happened i was going over my brothers in christ uh the crypto night going over his channel and i went over uh how to be healed channel and 
we were they were talking about the Ethereum flash crash, what some people are, some visions and dreams people are having. And so I found that to be very fascinating. I'm like, well, Lord, it's up to you. And I felt the unction in the in the spirit. I just felt an unction just to put in a, a, a buy a buy order in case, you know, in case Ethereum crashes. Just put in a buy order to get it cheap. I just was like, you know what? Let me just do it just in case, just in case these brothers are hearing from the Lord, because the Bible says we know in part. I don't know everything. So I put in my, my order and I just prayed about it and I felt the clearance of the Lord to go ahead and do it. And I prayed about it, did it, put in the little buy order and, and that was that. And then when I did that, I also remembered uh, brother Michael Lawrence's dream. Michael Lawrence had his dream of seeing Sheba uh, do a flash crash. And mind you, Sheba is linked to Ethereum. They're on the same type of chain, the ERC20 chain. So it has to be related. I said, wait a second, there's, there's something going on here. This must be related. And then I went to sleep and I had the dream I just told you. So you add that up and I want you, the body of Christ, you think about it, put it together. You see, if you if you don't if you think it's all nonsense, that's cool. No problem. I'm just I'm just sharing with you because the Lord put it on my heart today to share it with you because this is very controversial what I'm sharing. And there's a lot of people who's gonna may not even want to come to this channel anymore. They're gonna say, okay, now he's talking necromancy. No, I am not talking necromancy. I know the word of God. I will not tell anybody go by a grave and worship a grave or worship a dead person or seek out a dead person. No, I will not do that. I'm just speaking about my experience in the dream realm, okay? And how I have seen it. I've, I've encountered stuff like this. This, this is nothing new to me. But I know that there's a division in the body of Christ when you talk about stuff like this happening. Can now, can you be approached by de demons or familiar spirits or people pretending to be a relative, a spirit pretending to be a relative in the dream realm? Absolutely. That's why the Bible says test the spirits because you can come across this stuff. And in fact, I would argue more, more times than often it's, it's a wicked spirit, a demonic spirit trying to impersonate. I will definitely argue that. But there are times you get those messengers from heaven like I told you about my brother who passed away who pointed me in the direction of Jesus and not in the way of Muhammad so you think about that the other part of that dream I had to uh, fill you in on real quick um, one of my orders got filled in the dream one of my orders for for buying um, when one of these things the BTC or one of them when they drop low because I have a bunch of different buy orders for when things drop low for crashes and I saw in the dream, it, it got filled, but I couldn't see the actual crypto, okay? So that's where it's like, whoa, all right? So that's why I'm kind of amped and the Lord is telling me just to get this get this out because there's some brothers and sisters who are trying to figure out should they put in a sell order, buy order, etc. cetera, I, I, you know? So hopefully this will encourage you to look into it, study it or whatever. And I, I just thank you for taking your time to come into this channel and just hear me out and test the spirits of what I'm saying. Don't just take it because I say it, Brother Keith says it. Test the spirit, okay? You do your own praying, you seek the Lord, pray on it, you see, okay? And I'm gonna throw one more in just because I like to just, uh, when people get religious on me, I like to just throw a bucket of cold water on it real quick. Before I end, I got a friend of mine, personal friend of mine, someone I know that I'm very tight with. Her teenage son died in a car accident, right? When her teenage son died in a car accident, this was down in the Caribbean, when the guy, young kid, he was about 13, 14 years old, he died in a car accident, tragic, right? They brought her to the morgue to identify the body. This woman was grieving, mourning like any mother would when their child dies, especially tragically and suddenly like that. She's, this woman of God, she's crying, bawling the whole nine yards, and she's in the, in the morgue to identify her son, and she's looking at the body, she's crying and wailing over the body, and she's yelling out to her son, how could you leave me, how could you go like this? Guys, I tell you no lie, a voice came from heaven inside the morgue and it was the voice of her son. And he was saying, mom, I'm so sorry. This is the way the Lord ordered it. This was my time to go. I'm so sorry, mom, I love you. Everybody in that morgue, they took off running. And I'm gonna be real, if I was there too, my behind would have been running too. Cause they all heard that same voice from heaven. So I want you to put that inside the Pentecostal pipe and smoke it because sometimes we're going into this new, this new season where we can't be hyper-religious. God is doing a new thing and 
we got to sometimes just be in prayer and have some discernment when God's doing something. Sometimes it might be a little bit out of the ordinary. It might be a little unorthodox. This is Jesus. When we're dealing with the stuff of the Lord, he does stuff unordinary. I mean, this guy, Jesus spit in people's eye and took dirt and <laughs> you're healed in Jesus' name. It ain't always according to your religious box, okay? Just the same way with this wealth transfer. This is some new stuff. But guess what? This is the way he's doing it for this season. All right? God bless you. Thanks for tuning in. I love you all. Peace. Ooh. Ooh. Come on now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Confirmation. Ooh. All right. So uh, let's get into um, cold. I I've been getting a lot of questions from people about uh, hot wallets, cold wallets. Should I get my Ledger Nano uh, S Plus and Ledger Nano X? Listen, uh, first of all, I, I want many of you all to get this in your spirit. Matthew 6 and 33, seek ye. Uh, Proverbs chapter 3, 5 through 6. Lean not to your own understanding. The word also study to show thyself approved. I need y'all to start seeking the Lord so he can direct you on where to go, how to go, when to go, and who to listen to. All right? Now, I've gotten a lot of questions about this, about the, the, the cold wallet and the Ledger Nano, and do we need to take our Sheba or <clears throat> off the exchange right now and put it on there? Listen, I'm not a financial advisor, and this is strictly for entertainment purposes. Listen. If you take the sheep off the exchange, hear me out. And, and I know there's a woman of God that said uh, out there right now telling people to take this stuff off of Coinbase. Well, I got sale limits and buy limits on Coinbase. But as soon as those fill, I'm taking it off. Okay. Now, let me tell y'all, you buy Sheba, then take it off and put it onto your cold wallet. How are you going to sell it? How are you going to sell it? How are you going to set your sale limits? We don't know when the spikes or the increases are going to happen. Remember, and I'm not I'm not giving any time frames, but what I am saying, according to the word, when, when they crossed the Red Sea, it was at night. So it, 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 when it's at night in one part of the world, it's day somewhere else. My point is, the purpose of the sell limits and the buy limits is you don't have to manually do it, and you don't have to be hovering over your phone, which it, it, it can open up a door of being an idol or a distraction to make sure that your stuff sells. That's the purpose of the sell limit and the buy limit. Hear what I'm saying. Should you all have a cold wallet? Yes, all of you should. But, but you need to understand when to use it and when not to use it. I, I've been getting a lot of questions about this. The dollar's going to collapse and this, that, and other. Whether it collapse or not, we're going to have a lot of money regardless. But yes, it is wise. Let me help you all out, and, and we're going to get into it uh, uh, so I can go over this uh, uh, quickly. Listen, when Sheba hits, in my opinion, I'm not a financial advisor, what I feel that you should do is, is turn your profits into USDC. All right? Now, I, I, in my opinion, I'm not a financial advisor. I suggest that you have several exchanges, all right? Because different exchanges have different uh, withdraw amounts that you can withdraw daily into your bank account. Uh, but but so you can, um, uh, I would turn my profits, Sheba profits, or whatever profits, Luna profits, Terra Luna Classic profits, Bitcoin profits, I turn to USDC, all right? Until you are able to make a decision on what you want to do, whether you want to withdraw and deposit or, uh, or you want to send those USDC coins to your Ledger Nano, because that locks in your profits. And then when you're ready to move, you could transfer that USDC to whatever exchange and cash out, all right? So let's get into it. Ledger Nano. Now, they used to have a Ledger Nano S, but now I believe the company no longer has the Ledger Nano S. It's the Ledger, Ledger Nano S Plus because of the demand. It's $79 when you go to their website, all right? Now, now I need y'all to be mindful about the website. Listen, when you or order this cold wallet, I I bought mine from Best Buy, okay? Uh, make sure you go to the real website to get it, not a scam website, because somebody may end up having the, 
the access uh, keys to that to that cold wallet, and they're able to, to strip the stuff from you. And you're thinking that you got a good cold wallet. Make sure you're dealing with the actual people at the site. I got it from Best Buy. I went and physically got mine. Okay. So <clears throat> we're talking about the difference between the Ledger Nano S Plus and the Ledger Nano X. All right. And believe it or not, they're, they're, they're similar, but there's slight differences. So the Ledger Nano S Plus. You can hold up to 100 apps. See, I have a Ledger Nano X. And the apps are the apps for, so Bitcoin is an app. Ethereum is an app. Shiba is an app. USDC is an app. See, each crypto they consider is an app installed on your device so it can show up on the device. And uh, uh, it has access to over 5,500 compatible crypto assets. All right. Now, it also, the Ledger Nano S Plus feature is you manage over 5,500 coins and tokens with the Ledger Live app. See, they have a Ledger Live app that comes with your Ledger Nano S Plus that you can install on your laptop and your phone that is compatible with your cold wallet uh, from your computer or your smartphone, as you can see. Now, now your Ledger Nano, uh, your cold wallet is compatible with 50 plus wallets. So that's hot wallets. It's compatible. See, I have my Ledger Nano compatible with my MetaMask wallet, okay? So I'm able to get stuff off my MetaMask and put it on my cold wallet and vice versa. Uh, it has a certified secure element, CCEL, EAL5+. Plus. It's independently certified by ANSSI. It's this high tech certification. <clears throat> uh, uh, you can have a pin code uh, that comes with this Ledger Nano S+. Plus. There's a 24 word recovery phrase. Okay, uh, some of y'all just may confuse y'all a little bit. Each whether it's a hot wallet or cold wallet, has what they call a seed phrase, okay? So if you were ever to lose the password, you can still get into your wallet, whether hot wallet or cold wallet. Now, hot wallet is tied to the internet. I, I went over this in one of my videos. Please watch that video, hot wallet versus cold wallet. And cold wallet is not connected to the internet. That's what makes it cold. And, and, and a hacker can't get access to it unless they have your seed phrase. OK, so it's a 24, 24 word recovery phrase that you get right down and you got to put on the lock and key. That's the only way you can open up your Ledger Nano S Plus. See, I need you all to be organized in this crypto space. If you're not organized, you don't remember your passwords, you're wasting your time. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> sorry, y'all. So the Ledger Nano S Plus uh, is not Bluetooth compatible, doesn't have a Bluetooth, nor does it have a battery. So that means you got to hook it up to your laptop and turn it on, unlike the X, which we'll get into. Uh, it has 128 by 64 pixels. It has the USB cord uh, and it's 62.39 millimeter by 17.40 millimeter by 8.24 and it weighs 21 gram. All right. Now, the difference between the Ledger Nano S Plus, which is new, and the Ledger Nano X there are four differences, all right? Is the, the Ledger Nano S and the X are very similar. One difference is the, the Ledger Nano X Plus costs $149 because it is Bluetooth compatible with your Ledger Live mobile. So it's compatible, it's Bluetooth. So I can have my cold wallet and my phone connect to Bluetooth, boom, they're reading the same thing. And it has a battery with eight hours in standby mode, meaning I don't have to charge it up, nor do I have to have connected to my laptop for it to be on for me to uh, uh, handle transactions. That's the benefit of the Ledger Nano X, all right? Because say the lights go out or whatever the case may be. Well, I mean, hey, uh, at least your Ledger uh, Nano X can be on for the next eight hours if you have it on and you can connect it to your phone, right? That is advantageous. Uh, it, it, just in case of any blackouts of any sort. And the Ledger Nano X Plus is, uh, uh, is, is bigger, uh, 72 millimeters by 18.6 millimeters by 11.75 millimeters, and it weighs more, 34 grams, all right? So please watch this video over and over again. Make a wise decision. Look at my video about the hot wallet versus cold wallet. Um, because that video also shows you how to set up your Ledger Nano, okay? But these are the differences. Do I advise, in my opinion, even though I'm not a financial advisor, for you to get a cold wallet? Yes, all right? 
Now, so I want you guys, uh, I'm just, just some more housekeeping. Look, um, check out my how-to videos. I just told you that hot wallet versus cold wallet. You need to watch it. <clears throat> you need to watch. <clears throat> you need to watch my video on how to set your buy limit orders for your uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum, XRP and Shiba fishing. And then also you need to watch my how to withdraw your, your Ethereum from uh, the four exchanges. Uh, you need to watch that video. It's the wealth transfer Ethereum flash crash prophecy video that, that shows you how to withdraw your Ethereum, how to withdraw the fish out of your nets. All right. Um, make sure you always pray fast and Matthew 6 and 33, seek ye, ask heaven, ask the kingdom. And also Proverbs 3, 5 and 6, lean not to. Don't lean to your understanding, lean to heaven. Keep your eyes habitually, your heart, your mind habitually focused on things above. Get confirmation on your price points, how much you should purchase, and is this investment for you? Get confirmation first for yourself. And then look, if you're getting confirmation and hearing the echoes from heaven, all right? Last thing, listen, I'm excited about this webinar. Hey, I'm doing a cryptocurrency for beginners webinar on September the 25th at 7 p.m. Visit my website, www dot wtwinvestments with an s dot com click sign up uh, it's 75 dollars listen we're going to talk about what is cryptocurrency what are crypto assets what is blockchain technology who invented blockchain uh technology uh how are blockchains used what is DeFi? which is decentralized finance what is what is crypto language what are cryptocurrency platform exchanges and much much more listen I'm excited. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It's done. Listen, let those words resonate in your spirit. Meditate day and night. Get your confirmations. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video.